And on Shape, you can create 2D sketches to use as the basis for 3D geometry. I'm going to create the first sketch from the plane bearing part from the Essentials of Mechanical Drafting. This is a free book available online. It's from the early 1900s, and it has a bunch of free drawings that you can create for yourself. I will include a link in the description. So I want to create a sketch on the plane called Front. I can select the plane called Front, then hold down the right mouse button functionality, and then here is the new sketch command. I prefer to look normal to my sketch plane, so I will hold down the right mouse button and choose View Normal to Sketch Plane. And for the first geometry that I'm going to put in here, I'm going to sketch a rectangle, and I will use a corner rectangle. The keyboard shortcut is the letter G. So I will let it snap into the center and then drag it out a width and then left click in order to create the geometry. You can see that it is shaded, indicating that it is a closed loop. I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button to get out of the rectangle tool because one of the first things that I wanna do is make this symmetric about the vertical plane. So to do that, I can go to my symmetry command, which is Shift Q, and I'm gonna pick one of the entities, the other entities, and what I want it to be symmetric about and the sketch updates. Also, let's put in our first dimensions to make sure that we have it about the right size. So I'm gonna put in the length of this line. I clicked on it with the left mouse button and then left mouse click in order to locate the dimension. And this is going to be 5.625. While I'm still in the dimension mode, I'm going to left click on this line and then drag this out. Now, let me put the dimension over here and then left click again. And this is going to be a value of 0.625. So that's good for my first few entities on here. And I'm gonna click on the rectangle again and sketch in another rectangle. And let me drag out about yay big. And it's not automatically snapping to symmetry, that's okay because I'm gonna show you another way to get the shape right. One of the other entities that I want in here is a circle. So let me click on the center point circle. Now I'll snap it into the center of the line and then snap it into this entity. And you'll notice that it is a little off from the vertical plane. So I can go to my coincident constraint and then pick the center of the circle, pick my vertical plane, and now the circle snaps to it. Based on how I sketch, this is also in line with it. All right, so we see a bunch of blue entities, meaning that they are under constrained. They're not yet dimensioned. So let me throw in some more dimensions. I will click on this dimension and then dimension from here. Pick it with the left mouse button to here. Pick it with the left mouse button. And then left mouse click to locate the dimension. And this is going to be... Eh, it's, Got a weird dimension in the drawing, but I'm going to use 1.375 and hit the Enter key. And then let's pick the circle. I'm automatically getting a diameter dimension. I'll left click to locate it. And this is going to be a diameter of 2.5. So the sketch updates, I'm happy with this. And right now I could trim away some of these entities. I'll trim away some of them in a moment. Uh, but I'm also going to create some of the circles for the subsequent features or features that I want to put into my part. So let's put in another circle, and I'll let it snap to the center here, and it's going to be about yay big, and then another one here, and I'll let it go about to this big, and let's put in our dimensions for them. I will dimension this, and this is going to be a dimension of 2.25. And then this is going to be a dimension of 1.25. Yeah, 1.25, 1.25. It's pretty close when I sketched it. So that is good. And so at this point, I could hit the check mark to get out of here. Some people like to trim so that they don't have overlapping entities. That's not really necessary, but it might make selecting some different things easier later on. So let me try trimming away some of these different entities. And to do that, you can use the trim command, which is the keyboard shortcut of M. 
So I'm going to get rid of some of these like this one. I'm basically going to get rid of some of them until I start losing the blue for uh, some of my entities or, or until they go blue because they are under constraint. So that one, yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. I, I think I think I want to stop about here because I think if I start deleting some other different entities, yeah, I'm going to get blue. Let me hit the undo button. Uh, but you know, I've gotten rid of some of them. This is good enough. I can I can live with some overlapping entities. So that's good. I will hit the check mark in order to complete the sketch. And let me rotate the model a little bit. I'm going to get rid of the display of my planes by clicking the P button. Just reduce the clutter on the screen. And to show you some of the extrudes that we can create from this, well, I will go to the extrude command, which is the keyboard shortcut, Shift E. And I'm going to swipe a box over all the different entities in here, all the different closed loops, but I don't want all of them. So I want to figure out which ones I don't want for my sketch. Basically, it's the inner circle I don't want. Okay, this one I don't want, so I can go over and click on the X button. You can see the preview update, and then I'm looking. Okay, this is another one that I don't want in the sketch, so I'll pick that one. And for the depth, it's going to be a value of 1.625. But I want that to be symmetric about my midplane. So I'm going to click on the symmetric option. That is good for the first extrude. So I will click on the check mark. And that's how this one would look. And I'll show you one other extrude just to show you how I can take advantage of all those different overlapping entities in the sketch. To do that, I'm going to show sketch one. And what I want to do is I want to grab the entities from the other circles. So let's start the sketch tool. I'm gonna to move my mouse over here and I'm gonna right mouse click and try select other. And so, okay, yeah, I want that. I think that's what I want to extrude that and also one other different portion. So I'm gonna move my mouse over here, right mouse click and hold, select other and let's try, not that face, Oh, I think it's that one that I want as well. Yep, those are the two entities that I want to extrude. And this one is going to be to a depth of 1.875. But again, I want this to be symmetric about the mid plane. And so then I will hit the check mark and I can hide the sketch that I created. And so there are the first two features that are going into my plane bear. Oops, my plane bearing part. Uh, for learning how to sketch.